Lee, why is this event important today? Well, this is a showcase for the newer technology on el of electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids that are on the road today. Right, we have the Bolt here, which is just just came out this year, which is the f one of the first long-range small electric vehicles. Plus, we have quite a few people with Teslas that are uh, that are privately owned in this area, and we're trying to get as many people as we can in the cars to ride and drive them and to do a survey before and after so we get more information. It's really worked very well. A lot of enthusiasm for this? Oh yes, there's quite a few, especially the people who own these cars, uh, especially some of these high-end cars, they are very enthused about it. Tell me about what electric vehicles look like, let's say 10 or 15 years from now. What does that future look like? Well, right now, electric vehicles are about 1% of all the vehicles on the road. I've heard projections around 20, maybe 30% of the vehicles. It could even go higher, but it's going to depend on whether the vehicles meet the demand of the public, whether the price point is where the public can afford it, especially the range, the range that people want. What about the charging stations? Tell me about the accessibility. Well, there's two types of charging stations that are really predominant right here. Level 2's, which we have one over to the right there that EVSE LLC makes, which is a Connecticut company. Do you have any final comments about the team working together, uh, the different sponsors and everybody coming together for this event? Well, everybody, this team here, the Clean Energy Task Force of uh, Fairfield, it's their event basically and we just uh, team in and everybody's worked really well together. I don't think there was a negative word spoken in any of the meetings and everybody seems to have to enjoy it and we have politicians here today too to talk so that's always a good sign.